as I mentioned in my basic inverter video that I was making a 350 watt inverter with charging and other necessary protection features. Here is the updated version. I am using this 12 volt 42 ampere sealed lead acid battery for testing. Battery voltage is 12.99 volt that is it is almost fully charged now. Here is the setup for test load. There are three 220 volt 100 watt incandescent light bulbs. The PC based oscilloscope will show the output waveform. At no load the voltage is 207 volt, 50 hertz. The waveform looks good. It's drawing 1.1 ampere current at no load. Not a spectacular efficiency, but trust me, at load condition it will be okay. So I am turning on 100 watt light bulb. The output voltage dropped to 180 volt. Waveform looks good. In fact, better than no load condition. The current is 6.9 ampere and battery voltage is 12.5 volt. Turning on one more light bulb, voltage dropped to 159 volt. Why the voltage is awfully getting lower that I will discuss later in this video. Nevertheless, the output waveform is maintained at a good shape. The current is 12.1 ampere at 12.36 volt. Before turning on one more 100 watt light bulb, I disconnected the ammeter to avoid significant potential drop at the ammeter shunt register. with 300 watt lights turned on the waveform is still good voltage dropped to 142 volt now the cooling fan has been started It is running continuously for three and a half hours and the battery voltage dropped below 11 volt. That's a low battery beef has been started. Output voltage and waveforms are still acceptable. Now I'm turning on the grid supply. It switched to the grid and after 3 seconds charging started. It slowly increasing the charging current and became constant at 6 ampere which is under the safe limit for this particular battery. After reaching the battery voltage at 14.0 volt, 
it will switch to constant voltage mode charging and current will reduce. I have captured the switch over from grid to inverter. To switch over from grid to inverter it takes 42 millisecond. The principle behind SPWM inverter I have discussed in my previous video. For charging I have utilized the body diodes for these four MOSFETs to rectify the AC and to boost the voltage. I am switching these two low side MOSFETs at 5 kHz frequency. I found that increasing this frequency is producing a lot of heat in the transformer. If you have any better suggestion about the frequency, please comment down below. I have made the PCB according to this circuit and assembled all the components since I didn't have any 1 milliohm sound register. I measured the resistance per unit length for a thick copper wire and cut a piece of it of appropriate length. I salvaged this transformer from an old UPS. All the tapping voltages are marked by hand. There are 5 tappings here from 200 volt to 260 volt. I have used this 260 volt tapping. In the primary side there is a center tapping 12 volt 12 volt but since I am using H bridge I don't need center tapping but it's already here so I had to use the center tapping and one end of the 12 volt leaving one 12 volt as floating. Now there is a trouble here. These voltage calculations are given based on the RMS voltages. In sinusoidal wave RMS is root 2 times lower than the peak voltage. Converting a 12 volt DC to 50 Hz sinusoidal AC, it will give me approximately 8.5 volt RMS. So maximum voltage from the transformer secondary I can get is around 184 volt, which can be higher when the battery is fully charged. When load current will increase, some voltage will be lost in the transformer windings mostly because of the ohmic resistance of the coil which can't be compensated by increasing the modulation index because to produce 180 volt it is already at 1.0 that's why the voltage was getting lowered at increasing load hence it is recommended to use a 6 volt to 220 volt transformer instead of 12 volt to 220 volt for feedback, I have used this 220 volt to 6 volt transformer. That was the entire setup of my inverter. I have uploaded all the design files including circuit diagram and Arduino code. The link of which is given in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will meet in the next video.